everyone. Today I'm going to make a hard boiled egg and olive sandwich. Um, first thing I'm going to start off by boiling half a dozen eggs. And I'm using these uh, Uncle Eddie's eggs. Now I live in Petaluma, California and this uh, egg farm is right in town so I'm not sure um, where these are distributed to but when I was a kid, Petaluma used to be known as the egg basket of the world, so a lot of chicken ranches around here. I grew up on a dairy ranch, but used to be a lot of chicken ranches too. So, now the trick to um, making hard boiled eggs that will peel good is by boiling your water first, and then I just took these eggs out of the fridge. You put the cold eggs right in the boiling water. And by doing that, it kind of shocks that, that membrane. And I've done this a few times, and they always peel good. And I learned this trick by watching a video on the Rainbow Gardens channel. Now, um, once you drop them in there, I'm going to set my egg timer for 12 minutes. And after 12 minutes, we'll just shut them off. Now when you drop a cold egg into boiling water like that, you usually get a few of them that crack, but so far I've done this maybe three or four times and every egg is peeled perfectly every time. Okay, my eggs are done cooking. I um, ran some cold water over them and threw a few ice cubes in there to help cool them down some. And by the way, that's half a dozen eggs I'm using and then I'm going to use one can of olives, so I'm going to drain these and cut them up. And then my only other ingredients will be uh, some mayo and onion powder. First egg peeled perfect. Let's see how this one does. Look at that. See how easy that peels? Perfect. Now I know some people would probably frown on my methods of um, breaking up my eggs, but I just use my hand because it's fastest, easiest way. I'm the only one eating these, me and my wife, so who cares? And look at the color of those yolks. Those Uncle Eddie's eggs have nice color and uh, Good taste. And these are about $2.59 a dozen where I buy them versus about $1.79 for the other eggs that I usually buy. But I can tell a difference in the taste and the color of these. So to me, that's worth it. Because I'm cheap. I don't pay for anything. I don't have to. Okay. Took my olives and I just kind of rough cut them. I didn't cut them up very finely. Mix those into it. So now, the only other thing I have to do is mix in some mayo and onion powder. Then we'll come back and make a sandwich. Okay, here's how it looks after I mixed in the mayo and the onion powder. And uh, I did add just a small amount of kosher salt. And um, normally I would add pepper, but my wife doesn't like pepper, so no pepper. Um, made myself a sandwich here on just some white bread. I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat this. Hope you guys will give this a try, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.